So when we look at page 39, it's about the third or fourth paragraph down. Uh, President Kada says, Mr. Tota stressed the importance of overcoming each difficulty we face. Each time we surmount a mountain of tribulation, we solidify within us a life state of Buddhahood that nothing can destroy. Challenging each problem as it comes is the crucial point. We don't wait for our fates to be deep enough to do so. It's through tackling difficulties that we can polish our lives and forge indestructible diamond-like faith. So just, just as I spoke about in, uh, you know, regarding the peaceful practices quote from the really transmitted teachings, it's we're not waiting for things to happen. We're not waiting for things to get better. We're not waiting for us to be strong enough to live up to the expectations of our Buddhist practice. We're utilizing our Buddhist practice to make it live up to our expectations. And our expectations are we should win. We should be happy. We should be able to overcome. Because ultimately this practice is practice for oneself and others. Your victory is a victory for Buddhism. And when you can accomplish these five eternal guidelines, when you can make progress in regards to these five eternal guidelines, the people around you will naturally be attracted to this practice. They'll naturally want to come to understand what it means to chant nam myoho renge kyo and the course of Kosen Rufu will continue as it's supposed to. Thank you.